Hello, Cav Cop here. In this video, I want to go over a SE4 knife that I bought, and the handles just didn't fit my hand too well, so I got some replacement grips for it. We can go on inside, and I'll show you what I got and go over the knife a little bit. All right, so I have a little bottle bag that I have. Uh, it's like a little adventure kit. And one of the things I ordered for it was a SE4 knife. The SE knives are pretty good. A lot of them are made out of 1095 uh, carbon steel. This one has a 3 inch blade, and it's about 4.1 inches long. And initially, I thought it would fit my needs pretty good, because when I looked at the SE5, it was over a 5-inch blade, and it was about a fourth of an inch thick, and it weighed almost twice the weight of this. So I just needed something that was a durable blade. This fit my needs. I got it, and I realized the handle doesn't really fit my needs that well. I bought a replacement handle here. It's made by a company called Architect, and Architect makes these extended handles for some of the SE knives. This one right here came with a 3D handle. It's kind of contoured, and I'll show you it. it. Has a little safety holder up top and a release here, so if you do airborne operations or jump stuff, it does have two forms of retention for the people that use that. But this right here is the blade and the handle. And for my needs, holding the handle, it just comes up a little short. It doesn't properly fit in my hand. And when I was carving the spoon thing over here, ended up doing a lot of work on it. It's nice because you have a finger choil here, so you can kind of choke up on it. And there's jimping on the back. And you can work the knife pretty good. But in a standard configuration, for my hands, it just didn't fit that well and gave me some hot spots. And I had some issues with it. So... The knife, I think, overall is good, just the handle part isn't that good. They do have a standard, regular handle they make that's a little bit more squared. But this one right here, at the looks of it, I thought it would fit my needs, but apparently it didn't. The SE5 handle that's similar to this is a bit longer and probably would have worked better. So, lesson learned for me on ordering this, but I was able to get a set of extra grips. By messing with the grips already, they seem like they're going to work pretty good on this knife. So, let's get to it and get a little more involved with it. All right, so we have the Architect grips here, and the Architect grips that I got comes with the left and the right panel for the grips. Three different size bushings here, and it has instructions on where they go, but there's a short, medium, and a long. And then it comes with six replacement screws, which there's already six screws on here. I'm not sure how much difference there will be. When I open it up, we'll take a look at it, but basically we'll be taking the uh, grips off and replacing them. Should provide a little bit more room for my pinky to fit in so if i get a grip on it it should fit a little bit better in my hand versus kind of hanging off the edge there and how it kind of digs into my palm area if it comes back a little more it'll give a little more area to rest on and everything but se knives are made in the united states they've got a really good warranty if you happen to break them or anything happens to them they'll basically replace it that's kind of their claim to fame is how durable they are or if people do break them that they'll send you a replacement for it and everything the 3D contoured handle, it's kind of round and neat. I had some kitchen knives that are like this, but they're a little bit longer, so they ended up fitting a little bit better in my hands. Lesson learned, end up buying these grips, and I test fitted them a little bit just in my hands to see how they feel, and they match up with my hand a lot better. So if you happen to wear large or even medium size uh, gloves, or for some reason the SE doesn't fit your hand that well, these might be an option to look into. But I'll go ahead and get these taken apart, and we'll see the insides what it looks like all right so the se has like chicago screws inside where it's one screw that screws inside into another one and the architect has these aluminum pillars the shortest one goes at the back the longest one in the middle and then the medium one goes towards the front and these uh, screws right here will go in on each side but because this is aluminum want to make sure that it probably doesn't get over tightened or anything because it could strip out. I did end up using some Loctite to set the screws in so once it gets tight it'll be in there. But overall, like I said, these handles fit me kind of short on my hand. They don't fit as well as I think they could. When I ended up messing with these, these are a bit longer and I think they're going to provide a lot more grip and stuff for me and for using it and everything. So I'll go ahead and pop this onto here and get it screwed on and see what the end results end up looking like but it should just plop on in and then just tighten on the uh, screws on both sides make sure it gets lined up right and then do the final torque at the end 
they give you two of these so you can torque each side down you want to make sure that they're evenly spaced and everything's lined up and then once you get it where you want snug it down all the way so i'll go ahead and get these screws set in here tighten them down a little bit and we'll see what the end result looks like all right so we got the grips put on overall they fit pretty good the feel in my hand is a lot better than the other ones were like i said it fits all the way if you choke up on it a bit you got plenty of room where it rests on my heel over here is the area that i was kind of concerned about because the other ones were kind of small this one here my pinky is able to get a full good grip on it where it hits my heel it's a little bit further back and feels like there'll be a lot more control for working around and doing things with this knife so overall it seems like a pretty good setup the only thing I noticed was I have a little bit of a gap in here. It's not a huge big deal, but overall I didn't want to torque it down and make it too tight because it is aluminum, but everything's on here pretty sturdy and I feel good with how it mounts up. Like I said, overall the fit and finish I think is pretty good. Do a couple tests in the sheath. All right, got the sheath here with our extended handle grips. Snaps in pretty tight. Actually goes in real tight and snug. But it fits snug in there. The straps still fit on it. I guess if you really wanted to for airborne operations or something like that where you're required to have two forms of safety, it's a snug fit, but I would say that it fits and secures it. So you'd have your strap here, and then you'd have the elastic up here, although the elastic may wear away as snug as it kind of fits. But realistically, I probably won't be using that secure strap part of it i'll just end up using the velcro that goes on the side here and if it wears out i'll run some 550 and make a lashing for it but overall the architect grip seemed pretty good like i said i bought this knife with hopes to put it to a bunch of use the blades held up pretty good the finish hasn't worn off like i thought it would whittling away on wood and carving some stuff but with this grip right here it's going to feel a lot better in the hand and really doesn't take up a lot more space but the Architect grip for the SE4 I think is something good if you're not impressed with your SE grips that you got. Like I said, if I were to do it all over again, I probably would have just gotten the square grips from the factory instead of the 3D round ones. But it is what it is, and this right here seems to improve the knife a bit. It costs around $50 or so, so that's a little bit more money to add to the cost of the blade already. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Cav Cop out.